Uh, ladies and gentlemen, well, 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 a little bit of a twist in the story, a little bit of a spice in the Mason Mount situation. This is the headline at the moment. All right, all right, all right, here we go back again on the other side of the coin. All right, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Look, every time for the past three wins, straight after, there's a whole heap of news about Mason Mount. And that seems to be what kind of takes over. And really, it should be about the current players that are really, really doing well. And me, to be honest, look, I can only do what I can see in the news and deliver to you guys. And it's up to you guys to come up with the opinions. But this particular news is circulating around and it's making a lot of noise. And it goes something like this. Mason Mound was left out of the side yesterday afternoon by Graham Potter, player described as fully fit. This is from uh, C345 Sam, the guy who leaks out the um, lineup. So, look, I'm pretty certain he's got some internal people that's helping him up with this information. This is, this is some scathing information. If this is the case, like he's been left out because maybe because of the contract situation um, and he's been fully fit. Like, that's that's ballsy. That is ballsy from Graham Potter. And uh, to be honest, I, I don't mind it one bit. Um, this is coming from Chelsea Dodgers uh, Twitter page. Mason Mount was left out of yesterday's squad. However, I'm told the player is described as fully fit. Mm, further goes on to say the possibility of Mason not signing a new contract could have played a factor Um in the Grand Potter's decision to leave him out of that the side that beat Leicester yesterday afternoon. Uh, so a little bit more detail there. Look, there's two different theories going around here. One is apparently, you know, Mason Man has just been looked after, you know, mentally he's just been given a bit of a break. This is what one side of the coin is talking about. Certain fans are saying, look, let's not jump the gun too much. Let's not, you know, try and... Uh, go after Mason Mount now. Let's not try and make sensationalize the situation too much. Uh, there could be a possibility that that Grand Potter is man managing Mason Mount, just the way he man managed Kukurea, just the way he man managed Mudrik, um, where they were, part, you know, away from the squad for a little bit and given a bit of time off. Maybe that's what's happening here. And look, maybe that could be a possibility. I'm not going to rule out. I mean, look, for first game, he was actually injured. Second game, he was suspended in the in the uh, Champions League. And the last one, there were pictures where he was training. I mean, just before the Leicester game, there were pictures of Mason Mount training and there was no signs that he wasn't going to be part of the squad. Now, this is saying that he's fully fit. I tend to think maybe, maybe this is more of a the correct direction I, I know one side of the fans are thinking that perhaps he's getting you know looked after and he's given a bit of a breather mentally but i do tend to think maybe the contract situation is playing a part if he's not going to be part of the long-term project at chelsea football club and he's not going to commit to it whether he likes the contract terms and whatnot whether we like the contract terms or whatnot bottom line is whatever is provided he's not accepting it which means you're potentially not part of the long-term project. And if you're not part of the long-term project, we've got a lot of players that are, you know, at times missing out on the squad because of the size of the squad that we have right now, then it kind of makes sense what Grand Potter's doing. It's very ballsy, and I like this attitude from Grand Potter. If, if someone is not part of the long-term future, i.e. Aubameyang at the moment, no point, no point in using him. I would like to see Oba being used, but Graham Potter, at the end of the day, he's the manager. He he makes the calls, and we've seen previous managers do this as well. When a particular player is not part of their future, then that player, good luck. So, look, ladies and gentlemen, it's one to look out for. Let's see what happens in the next game against Everton, Is if Mason Mount is in the squad or not. This is... Um, Testing testing times for Mays. Uh, you know, he would have never faced something like this in his career previously. And all this time it's been going so rosy for him at Chelsea Football Club. And all of a sudden it's 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 tough times, it's tough life. Look, I believe his father, Tony Mount, is the agent, his agent at the moment. And um look, if this is the case, uh, by all means, Liverpool Football Club, you know, if 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 they're so linked, heavily linked with Mason Mount. By all means, get him. Get him and let's pick up some cash for Mason Man and let's, you know, 
put that to better use and invest elsewhere. We are looking to buy more players in the summer. We're looking to get rid of a whole heap of players, which we're going to touch on. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know, is it the case that perhaps he's fully fit and the fact that he's not signed a contract extension, you know, now that now he finds himself not in the squad, which kind of makes sense. But as I said, on the other side, uh, there is a theory that's gone around that perhaps he's getting looked after mentally. He's just get, get, you know been, a, been getting a bit of a break off, off the back of all the social media heat and all the all the heat that he's been getting from fans, even match going fans as well. Not that long ago, booed Graham Potter and booed Mason Mount. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about that. Next up, if there are any doubts over contract extensions, Chelsea will do their utmost to sell the player. There you go. This is coming from Simon Johnson. Um, and it should be like that. We, we can't let the player just run down the contract for free. We should try and find ways to get some money out of that particular player, much like what happened to Jorginho. Six months left. Look, there wasn't anything going to happen in terms of contract extension with Jorginho. And boom, mm -hmm. we've sold him to you know, Arsenal Football Club, who's probably looking to win the title right now. But we, we're there to make some business and make some money. If, if there is no chance of this player to sign a contract extension and we don't want him to sign a contract extension either, then the best option is to sell and make the money. Chelsea are planning a mass summer clear out in order to reduce the size of the squad and help meet FFP regulation. The club also has a desire to recruit more. There you go. So in order to bring in more players now, we do need to get rid of players. Who are these players? The first list of candidates of for possible departures include Mason Mount, Matteo Kovacic, Cesar Spilicueta, Christian Pulisic, Aubameyang, and Loftus-Cheek all have one year left on their deals. At the end of this season, they'll only have one more year left. Look, I've mentioned it previous, previously as well. I've got no issues in any of these players leaving. I know a lot of you guys will be surprised. Oh, but is Matteo Kovacic's name is there. He's been doing all right. Look, I know recently, last three games, captain of the football club is doing well. Scored a goal uh, yesterday as well. Fantastic. But overall, the injuries, the, the amount of matches Matteo Kovacic misses as well per season is quite ridiculous. And, um, you know, there is a notion of revamping the midfield. Is long-term Enzo Fernandez's partner, if we do, let's say, revert to back for next season, is Matteo Kovacic the right partner for Enzo Fernandez? I'm, I'm more tend to think, you know, it's someone like, you know, Romeo Lavia, who's once again had a fantastic match uh, overnight against um, uh, against against Man United. Uh, Quadio Kone's name's been thrown around there. We need someone in the likes of uh, you know, Casemiro, Declan Rice, you know, West Ham. Who knows? Are they going to get relegated? And, and, you know, could we potentially get a discount for Declan Rice? So, look, I have no issues if we keep Mateo Kovacic. I don't mind. Uh, if, if he can continue the way he's been continuing over the last few games, um, and I can see and sense that there is a combination happening between him and Enzo Fernandez. Having said that, there are times where the opposition kind of goes through our midfield because we we don't have that sitting defensive midfielder. So And, and Matej Kovacic and Enzo Fernandez don't always seem to complement. But at the time, it's it's looking okay. It's looking okay. So look, no issues if he stays, no issues if he goes either. But these are some of the names that are being put forward to let go of. Sources within the club have told the Athletic that there is a genuine interest from Manchester City in signing Ben Chilwell, and it can't uh, cannot be ruled out. Chilwell is happy and settled in London. And further, uh, this particular news goes on to say, Chelsea are also going to start looking at those who have only two years remaining and Chilwell is among seven in that bracket. Chilwell is 26 and an England international. Chilwell could, uh, Chelsea could command a high fee for him. Chilwell is happy at Chelsea and he's settled living near the club's training ground in Cobham. Look, there is one name that's getting floated around, which is Ian Martin. Ian Martin also plays like a left wing back. Um, Burnley do play a three at the back at times. Sometimes they do play four, uh, where he plays as a left back. Uh, if it's three at the back, he does play as a wing back. Look, the way Chilwell has been playing recently, I'd keep him, man. He looks unbelievable. The aggressive nature just that Chilwell has. But once again, two years left, what do we do? Is he going to sign a contract extension, which will be talked about next season? If not, Ian Martin, there has to be a plan for him. He's been devastatingly doing well for Burnley. Burnley are smoking the championship. And Ian Martin will 
potentially go down as one of the players of, players of the seasons over there. If not, if if he ends up even winning the whole thing, do you know what I mean? Um, could even potentially be player of the season for Burnley as well. So massive, massive interest will be on Ian Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about Ben Chilwell. Look, I don't want to get rid of him, but how can you have Ben Chilwell, Ian Martin, Kukurea, and don't forget Levi Kowa. I know Levi Kowa and Kukurea potentially will be fighting for the LCB position, but Kukurea could also play in the left wing back spot. So what's going on? And don't forget Lewis Hall. Is he going to continue on the left wing back, left back position, or is he going to be considered in the midfield? Or is he going to be considered at all? Lots to think about. So look, me personally, I don't know. I mean, I can understand the genuine interest from Manchester City for, for Chilwell because Chilwell is, is a top player and they need a left-sided player. They don't have anyone. Jao Cancelo is not coming back at Man City. He, he may come back from the loan from Bayern Munich, but they'll then they'll look to sell him. Um, and then Sergio Gomez, I believe, the one that they bought, is simply not up to the mark as yet. Um, Nathan Ake is kind of deputizing that role at the moment, but long-term, I don't think Ake is the one that they want to have in that spot. They want someone like Chilwell who can go up and down like that. So, look, it all comes down to contract extension. What does Ben Chua do next season? What does Chelsea do? I would like to see Chelsea keep him, but then what's the go with Ian Martin? Do we can we keep Chilwell, Ian Martin, Kukurea? Um, you can potentially have in that case Martin and Chilwell sort of rotate the left wing back. But then again, are we gonna play left wing back? Like, what if we revert to back four? So there, there's a lot to think about. There's a lot to think about, and it can get quite tasty. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, someone's gonna, someone's gonna cop it. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna have to be sold. Unfortunately, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea's deal for Dujon, uh, Dujon Richards is worth less than one million. He's considered a wonder kid. Joe Shields crucial in negotiations. Kendry Pears will also be Chelsea player soon. This is from Fabrizio Romano. There's, uh, there's a news that's gone around that, you know, Chelsea has found themselves a, another young kid that they've signed up. Uh, let me see if I can get that particular, um, if I can get that particular news from Fabrizio Romano, Chelsea did end up buying another young player. Um, his Jamaican background. So let's see what we can find over here in regards to Dujon. Uh, here we go. Jamaican talent Dujon Whisper Richards has signed with Chelsea yesterday, but he will join the club directly in November when he will turn 18. Next one to join Chelsea will be Ecuadorian Gem, 2007-born Kendry Pires, as already revealed in February. So we bought uh, Dujon Whisper Richards for less than a million. I don't think he's um, 18 as yet. I think he's only 15. Let me just go back to that previous tweet. Um, oh, that tweet doesn't say, but I think I think I think he is 15. Let me just see what what's his age. Dujon Richards age. Um, and the internet doesn't even seem to know him. 17, 17. All right, he's 17. So um, let me just enlarge that a little bit and then you can see, there you go, 17. Um, he's 17 years old um, and that's the player. That's the player that we've got. I, I don't know too much about him, but ladies and gentlemen, more young players we are signing up for the future. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Smash the like button if you have. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Subscribe to my second channel as well, ladies and gentlemen. And let me know in the comment section what you think about everything that we've talked about. The blockbuster news is Mason Mount. So give me your thoughts. Give me your thoughts. Until next time, see ya.